Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmaidenVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Ford chandelier called the Twist Basket with Ten Arms. This is the 108100. So it's also called the Twist Basket Ten Arms on Two Tiers because there are two tiers of lights. <clears throat> You're going to have these little candelabra uh, shaped things. Sometimes you can, these can actually be a flame tip if you want to. You can do LEDs or incandescent. We'll get into that in just a second. But why don't we talk about the size to begin with? This is 19. Point uh, actually 19 inches tall, 27.1 inches in diameter. And that's measured from the bottom of the fixture to where the first piece of chain will start. So it, it's a good size chandelier. It's, it's, to me it's a little bit more on the formal side. Um, you would need probably at least an 8 foot ceiling to carry this off, possibly even a 9 will be a little better, but you could still do it with an 8 without a problem. It's going to ship with 36 inches of chain, 15 feet of wire, and canopy kit on the ceiling. That canopy kit is uh, 5 and a quarter inches in diameter round. So it'll go over a standard 4 inch junction box just like this guy. So if you guys need more chain, we do sell more chain. Chain has a seam on it. It opens and closes very easily, so you can use as much or as little as you guys want. The minimum you would have to use, obviously, on this piece is one piece of chain because you have to be able to attach <clears throat> the um, fixture to the canopy, and they both have a loop, so you've got to have one, at least one piece between them. But, you know, with a 7.5-foot ceiling, which many of you don't have, that's where you'd be looking at something like one to two to three pieces of chain. Once you get into the 8-foot ceilings, you're fine. You're going to be using uh, quite a few pieces of chain. So let's move on from there and talk about lamping. So you're going to be able to use up to 60 watt for incandescent or whatever you guys want for LED on this. It's going to be using these porcelain type B chandelier sockets. Those are the smaller ones that we all grew up with, so we know about those. And like I said, you're maxing out at 60 watts for incandescent. Um, the uh, slips on these are actually kind of an ivory colored off-white, so they're kind of the, this like a uh, very bright cream uh, color. So uh, this is a more traditional piece, obviously. You can tweak this with finishes, and we have a great finishes help guide. It's on the left-hand side of your screen in those red tabs with the pictures. Give it a click for me. You're going to see a video of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they look on different types of forging. This piece is uh, going to be available in nine different finishes. If you scroll down a little bit, there's a chart, and the ch color chart is going to have the nine finishes on it with the letters A on some of them, letters B on some of those pictures. It's going to show you a range and variance you can expect to see on some of the finishes, and that's going to be talked about in the video up above, so it's important to watch the video and come down and use that chart. When you are done with that, go back to the chart, and you can click on any of those pictures, and you can it'll pop up, a picture will pop up with more samples of whatever you guys just clicked on. Like I said, you can tweak this with like a brighter finish. If you wanted to kind of take this traditional thing and flip it onto a more transitional almost going to contemporary, you could do a brighter finish like a vintage platinum or a soft gold or a burnished steel. So some people will want to do that. They still want to have kind of this traditional feeling going on. They might have an older home, a more rustic home, but they just want to put a little bit more of a modern twist on it. So it's really up to you guys. You can, you can really customize these to your heart's desire with those nine finishes. Uh, we have, we don't have this one we, on the floor of our showroom. We have the next one down, which is the 108060. So we have that on the showroom floor in black. Our showroom has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two rooms, I'm sorry, two floors. And uh, we have the biggest showroom in the world here in Vermont. We also have a What's on Display page. It's on our website back in those red tabs again with the pictures. So click on that for me. It'll get a big window will pop up, the whole page will pop up, and it's going to show you hundreds of these things that we have on display. So you'll be able to see what's here before you guys ever make the trek to come see us. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It returns discontinued stuff in showroom samples. Uh, you have to come here to use it, and that's just another reason to come see us. So showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I am here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to us. You can email us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont, or you can call 802-446-2400, and I'm here to help you. Um, other than that, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. 
no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some really big items, mostly on pallets that go out of here, are not coming back. And we'll always tell you about that ahead of time. We also offer a rush program. Rush takes you from Hubberton Forge's normal three to four weeks in production down to a little under two weeks. So if you're in a hurry to get something, just drop a quick email to us and I can walk you through that. It's very inexpensive. So that covers this. You guys should also probably check out the other ones I'll be doing this morning. The list, uh, the 106030 and the twist basket 108060. Those videos will be up shortly as well. And if you like this, you'll probably like those too. Any questions, let me know and thanks for stopping in. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.